The largest city in America is limiting a new form of smoking. New York City Council voted last week to extend its public smoking ban to include electronic cigarettes. Outgoing Mayor Michael Bloomberg is expected to sign this bill into law. They are commonly known as e-cigarettes, and they've been increasing in popularity. Three states now, North Dakota, New Jersey, and Utah, and more than 100 cities have already incorporated e-cigarettes into their public smoking bans. However, it looks like Wisconsin might be moving in the opposite direction. Yes, a new bill in Madison would allow e-cigarettes to be used in places where traditional smoking has been banned, like bars and cigarettes. We have balanced coverage tonight as Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe explains this new trend and the pending legislation. Guy Johnson of Green Bay has smoked for most of his life. I've always loved it. I started when I was about eight or nine years old and I never really stopped for 56 years. He switched to electronic cigarettes in September. It's healthier. It hasn't been proven to be bad for you yet that I know of. Respiratory specialist Dr. Richard Potts points out e-cigarettes still contain nicotine. He says their long-term impact isn't known. We don't know too much about e-cigarettes. Uh, you know, they've just come on the market in the last five years or so. Allison Bernstein of Green Bay has been using the product for about a year. They call it vaping instead of smoking because you're not blowing out any smoke. It's just vapor. She also sells e-cigarette products. Bernstein says this store on Green Bay's east side opened in June, and since that time, they have seen more than 1,000 customers. But right now, Wisconsin law isn't clear on where e-cigarettes can be used. The state banned smoking in workplaces in 2010 before vaping was popular. The law doesn't clarify if vaping is banned. Republican State Senator Glenn Grothman of West Bend introduced a bill earlier this month that would ensure it isn't. Well, we want to step in ahead of somebody in Wisconsin doing what New York City has already done. Dr. Potts has another view. He says even though vaping emits small amounts of chemicals, it's still harming air quality. Exempting them um, like uh, from the smoking regulations is actually a backward step for Wisconsin. The bill is currently being worked on by a Senate committee. Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Right now, the e-cigarette industry collects about $2 billion a year in the U.S., some expected to grow rapidly in the coming years, eventually surpassing the regular cigarette industry.